Hi everyone, my name is Dave Luza and I will be attending the UK Games Expo next week. It is in Birmingham and everything that is board games is coming over to England to have this party of board games. There will be new games presented and this video is about those new games. I have picked six games from the very long list of, of new games that are there that have piqued my interest and maybe you've got others then please let me know in the comments so I will when I'm there I can check them out. Um, there are a lot of games that are demoed there as well. There should be a link in the description to a video where I talk about those demo copies of games that I will be checking out there. If you want to see what I'm up to while I am in Birmingham, I will be uploading photos on Twitter, Facebook and uh, videos on YouTube. If you want to see the latest, then please uh, follow me on those channels. Now let's start off with a game that I really like because I'm really interested in the designer. It is Phil Walker Harding and the game I'm talking about is Bärenpark. A German title, Bären Park, and uh, you're building a zoo for bears. At least that's what I understood. And you do it uh, using Tetris-shaped tiles, puzzling them, uh, putting them together. So it's a mix mixture of Tetris, of Zoo Loretto, and maybe Cottage Garden, or what's the other one called? Patchwork. I like those games, so I think this is going to be a nice one to play with the family. So that's Beeren Park, number one. Number two on my list is called Pocket Mars. I'm very interested in Mars-themed games. I seem to like most of them. This one is uh, particular because Pocket Mars is a short game. It takes, I think, about 20-30 minutes. We'll have to see if that's really true, but uh, it still offers some hard decisions so I'm really looking forward to see how that game goes it, it looks nice and I'm going to check it out NIMBY is a game that looks very interesting to me we are in a beehive and we are trying to get points and race to get, be the first to get a certain amount of points or there's a special mechanic in the game sometimes you don't want to get points so that turns the game around I think that's a very nice twist it looks very nice and there is a special wooden box that you can buy from a different company that makes boxes for games that looks very nice as well so it piqued my interest so that's NIMBY the game I'm most hyped about is an expansion for a game that I really like and doesn't get that much love from the world that is called Between Two Cities and the uh, new expansion is called Between Two Cities Capitals. In Between Two Cities you are not building your own city, no, you build a city with your right neighbor and with your left neighbor and you try to keep them as best as you can both of them because you get points for the worst city. So you don't want to make one good one and a bad one because then the bad one will give you the points at the end of the game. Now this new expansion brings new tiles to the game but it also has city maps and that means that you might have a, a river flowing in your city or there are some other obstacles I'm very curious to see what it all is but you need to work around those obstacles of course. Very interesting I'm certainly gonna buy it and I hope the, the game in general gets more love between two cities. Another game I'm looking forward to is a family game. I love playing family games with my family and it's called Century Spice Road. In this game you are a merchant of spices and there are some people who want to buy those spices and give you victory points in return and so you want to help them. Now you can just give them the spices you already have or you can trade those spices for better spices in the hope that you can deliver a better quality of spices to customers who want that and give you more points. It looks very interesting so I'm excited to see how the game works. That's Century Spice Road. The last game I want to talk about is called Perfect Crime and in Perfect Crime you are either the bank manager or you are thieves who try to steal from the bank. Now I think that I haven't played the game yet but <laughs> if you want to commit the perfect crime you need to plan stuff you need to know where the cameras are hidden and you know need to know what kind of safe it is so you need time to figure those things out but that gives 
the bank manager more time to secure the bank, to put extra measures in it. Maybe I'm thinking about lasers. I would put in lasers. Do you want to do a rush job and hope you've got the right tools with you? Or would you like to take your time? But that gives the bank more time as well. So very interesting because you've got asynchronous play and I really like games that have that. So those are my six games. Last one was Perfect Crime. I hope there's something in here that uh, you like as well. If you're missing a game and think I should really check that out, then please let me know in the comments. So um, I will be uh, making photos, making videos while I am in Birmingham. So uh, please follow me. You know where to find me. If you want to know more about me or see me and do some uh, songs about board games, then I say please check out my YouTube channel. There is a special list called A Musical Look at Board Games where I, where I sing. <laughs> so you might want to check that out. Thanks for watching and see you later. 